Hi everyone, my name is Nadia. I'm an ambassador for Wild Tomorrow Fund. And today I would like, <laughs> so sorry, how rude of me. I did not introduce you to my best friend for the past 36 years, Vushi. Yes, he's a green hippo, still looks great. And he got all dressed up for you today. He's wearing a tie. Uh, with the Statue of Liberty on it, sending much love to everyone in New York and New Jersey who are going through a tough time. And most of us around the world, uh, we're all going through a tough time right now. But you know who's been going through a really tough time for much longer than we have? Wildlife. That's why today I would like to read to you, Who Will Roar If I Go? Shall we? Who Will Roar If I Go, by Paige Yeager, illustrated by Carol Hill Quirk. We are a cuddly, cute, and an incredible bunch of creatures who enjoy resting just after lunch. We wrestle and play just like you every day, but some of our friends have been taken away. Keen eyes, sharp teeth, long claws, and fascinating skin help us survive the trouble we are in. We need you to care and let us live free, or there will be no more wild animals to see. The king of the beasts, that's my claim to fame. I've got a big crown of hair that's called a mane. I'm swift and strong and sly, you see, and everyone's afraid of me. Recently, I've lost my home. There's no savanna on which to roam. I'm king of this land, don't you know? Who will roar if I go? Lion, Africa. I sure am an enormous creature with ivory tusks, my most attractive feature. For these long, tappered teeth that I hold dear, thousands of my friends were lost last year. No one needs my tusks but me. Go make them in a factory. Elephant, Africa and Asia. The beautiful tiger is my name, and prowling for food is my game. No one's got a coat like mine, black, white, and orange divine. Everyone loves my stunning striped hide. Please leave me alone where I abide. Tiger, Asia. Like all zebras, my skin is black and white. These stunning lines camouflage me day and night. Your stripes are amazing, some hunters say. And then they take my friends away. Please leave us here where we multiply and gaze at us next time you wander by. Zebra, Africa. I swagger, I beat my chest, and whoo, hoot to entertain. I hide under trees during heavy jungle rain. My thumbs are opposable, my arms are very strong. I use them to bushwhack through vines and move along. Some zoos want my baby for all to see, but I want her to stay right here with me. Gorillas, Africa. Nobody in the bush looks quite like me. My snout was designed creatively. My smell and hearing are extra keen. I roam the mud for my sunscreen. 
Leave me here in the grasslands to thrive. That will keep me happy and alive. Rhinoceros, Africa. Resplendent Quetzal really is my name. My three-foot tail gives me avian fame. But I'm vanishing from the forest canopy as trees disappear all around me. Won't you leave our land alone so future fledglings have a home? Quetzal, Central and South America. I'm the world's largest salamander. In rocky lakes and streams I meander. Some of you see me as a hideous beast and put me on the menu for a great big feast. You can dine on many foods happily. Please enjoy them without harming me. Giant Salamander, China. With brilliant blue wings, my beauty is divine. I flutter my way through the lush lupine. Sadly, my terrain is fading fast. With all the new cities, I may not last. Please save me a place where I can try to live in peace as a butterfly. Blue Corner, North America. No one has a tongue as extendable as mine. It snares ants and termites in the dirt or on a vine. Some say that I am ugly and no good, but that just makes me feel misunderstood. Tunnels I dig and trees I climb. I'd like to stay here for a long, long time. Pangolin, Australia. With black patchy eyes, I'm chubby and cute. I'm a lazy bear who chews bamboo shoots. Sleeping and munching forests away are the two main activities that fill my day. But with so little space left for me to graze, you'll find me living in the zoo these days. Panda, China. I'm a red-crowned Amazon who wants to fly on and on. In the trees I love to sing. I sure am a fine feathered king. Look at the rainbow crown upon my head. My bright plumage, green, blue, yellow, and red. Many people think I would make a fine pet, but I belong in the wild, so please don't forget. Red crowned Amazon, Northeast Mexico. Solitary, swift, and always on the go. I wear my spots from head to toe. With eyes that sparkle and teeth that shine. My status is threatened because I look so fine. So some wait in hiding, trying to capture me, instead of letting me run wild and free. Snow Leopard, Asia. Some friends are missing. There are fewer home. We wander around, feeling sad and alone. We love where we live and would prefer to stay, living in our home, not going away. Before we disappear from this earth in a blink, what can you do so that we will not go extinct? Try to make this world a better place by not taking us out of our space. You can help prevent this travesty 
so that will be wild animals for all to see. Wildlife is disappearing. What will you do if the only place we creatures live is in a zoo? So tell me, are you friend or are you foe? Will you roar before we go? I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Please roar as loud as you can. Buy this book anywhere online or in your bookstore and read it with your friends and family and spread the word. Roar as loud as you can for the wildlife that we still have and that we still need very much. Stay safe, everyone. Stay healthy. Love you all.